there's been a lot of stress in the workplace because of the crisis. Um, it was already there before it was growing, but now uh, with all the losses of jobs or the possibility of a loss of jobs, this has gotten worse. And also we are better at detecting it and fortunately also at dealing with it. Which professions are most prone? I don't think that there is a, uh, a, a rule uh, here. Uh, but typically, uh, you get people who do less mechanical uh, work uh, that uh, may be uh, more uh, prone uh, uh, to have uh, uh, stress at work. But uh, it do there does not seem to be a pattern which uh, uh, affects uh, a particular set of workers. You say more needs to be done about this. Are employers tackling this issue well, or are they really hoping that it won't be an issue in the company that they run, perhaps, and would rather ignore or even sideline those who are suffering? Well, they would do so uh, at the risk. And the other thing is that this is not something which is uh, black or white in terms of disabling people uh, for work. This is something that, of course, can be addressed, can be treated, should be treated, and this is the whole idea. But are employers doing that, though? Have you got evidence to suggest that it's something, because you say it's not talked about enough, but it's something that business leaders are willing to take on board? I would say that this is not yet uh, embedded in the awareness of uh, uh, managers, and it also sometimes dismissed as something which could be... Uh, of a less serious nature. So, again, we need to grow the awareness and at the same time deal with it in a way uh, which is uh, uh, realistic, which is uh, uh, for the benefit of the worker, which will eventually be for the benefit of the company.